Welcome to the live stream of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Friday, October 27, 2023. I am Pam DeFelice, and I am officiating today. Welcome to all. We're so glad for anyone who comes later in the day to see us. So let us begin. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Good morning, Joan. Thank you for coming. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. And today we say the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Today we say Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe 
for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have, I, have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, and I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. You know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness, save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced, which speak against the righteous, haughtily, disdainfully, and with contempt. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have done in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his love in a besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the sound of my entreaty when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who worship him. The Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full those who act haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, Sherry. It's nice to see you today. Our first lesson is from the book of Ezra, chapter 3. When the seventh month came and the Israelites were in the towns, the people gathered together in Jerusalem. Then, <clears throat> then Jesua, son of Jehozadak, with his fellow priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shetail, with his kin set out to build the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt offerings on it, as prescribed in the law of Moses, the man of God. They set up the altar on its foundation because they were in dread of the neighboring peoples, and they offered burnt offerings upon it to the Lord, morning and evening. And they kept the festival of booths 
as prescribed and offered the daily burnt offerings by number according to the ordinance as required for each day. And after that, the regular burnt offerings, the offerings at the new moon and at all the sacred festivals of the Lord and the offerings of everyone who made a free will offering to the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer burnt offerings to the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. So they gave money to the masons and the carpenters and food, drink, and oil to the Sidians and the Trianians and to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea to Joppa according to the grant that they had from King Cyrus of Persia. In the second year of their arrival at the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, Zerubbabel, son of Shetile, and Yeshua, son of Jehozadak, made a beginning, together with the rest of their people, the priests and the Levites, and all who had come to Jerusalem from the captivity. They appointed the Levites from 20 years old and upwards to have oversight over the work on the house of the Lord. And Yeshua, with his sons and his kin, and Kedmael and his sons, Binu and Hodava, along with the sons of Henadad, the Levites and their sons and kin, together took charge of the workers of the house of God. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments were stationed to praise the Lord with trumpets and the Levites and the sons of Asva with symbols according to the directions of King David of Israel. And they sang responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever towards Israel. And all the people responded with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and heads of the families, old people who had seen the first house on its foundations, wept with a loud voice when they saw this house. Though many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not distinguish the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. For the people shouted so loudly that the sound was heard far away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Our second lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. If Timothy comes, see that he has nothing to fear among you, for he is doing work of the Lord just as I am. Therefore, let no one despise him. Send him on his way in peace, so that he may come to me, for I am expecting him with the brothers. Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urge him to visit you with the other brothers, but he was not at all willing to come now. He will come when he has the opportunity. Keep alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, 
be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Now, brothers and sisters, you know that members of the household of Stephanus were the first converts in Acacia, and they have devoted themselves to the service of the saints. I urge you to put yourselves at the service of such people and of everyone who works the toils with them. I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus and Fortunus and Acacius, because they have made up for your absence, for they have refreshed my spirit as well as yours. So give recognition to such people. The churches of Asia send greetings. Aquila and Prica, together with the church in their house, greet you warmly in the Lord. All the brothers and sisters send greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. Let anyone be accursed who has no love for the Lord. Our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with all of you in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A Song of the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. <clears throat> and yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and evermore. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. <clears throat> Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit.
The collect, the collects, the collect of the day, proper 24. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, Grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path we may not stumble, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Anstarana, Indian Ocean, the Right Reverend Dr. Jomine, Jomende Jan Baptiste, Bishop, and the Diocese of Aratea, New Zealand and Polynesia, the Most Reverend Donald Stephen Tamahare, Archbishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and the Episcopal Church, the Most Reverend Michael B. Curry, Presiding Bishop and Primate. A prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Sean Howard, Meredith, Paul, Allison, Rob, Scott, Sarah, Wayne, Phil, Mariella, Bill, Keith, Mary Jean, Christy, Peter and Mirabelle, and Bunny. We pray for our incoming rector, the Reverend Dr. Sanford H. Grock, Jr., that he may be for us a faithful pastor who will care for us and equip us for our ministries. We pray also today for the ministries of current activities, remembering especially Wednesday healing service that members of Good Shepherd or those dear to them suffering in mind, body, or spirit may find solace and healing through prayer and the food pantry, that through nourishing the bodies and spirits of our neighbors in need, we may be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community. The Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership, which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do. And in this place, and in the ministry of love and concern for others, 
Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At the, <clears throat> excuse me. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. I see my friend Joan is off on her doctor appointment. I didn't put the chat up. Chat. I hope you have a good doctor appointment and they're able to resolve your problem, Joni. I want to read a prayer for recovery from sickness. We have many dear ones that are not well. O oh God, the strength of the weak and the comfort of sufferers, mercifully accept our prayers and grant to your servant, Kathy, Susie, and many more, the help of your power, that their sickness may be turned into health and our sorrow into joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I'll say a prayer, oh, a prayer for Kathy. I know she's not here. I hope she's not suffering today also. Kathy has started a new course of chemotherapy. So um, I don't, she was doing it yesterday. I don't know. I don't know how it's turning out. We can only pray that she does well with it. We pray that God gives her strength. And I'll say a prayer for the human family. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infects our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. I had trouble with that, didn't I? Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. Granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I think we should say a prayer. I'm sure Letty and Ian will be traveling home this weekend. May they travel safely. May the Lord watch over them. <laughs>